Such songs from prison walls echo. A gunshot never sounds like a gunshot. It sounds like anything else. A car backfiring, a door slamming, a large book falling from a shelf and hitting the ground like dead weight. Fireworks, a rim shot, a tree branch torn down and broken over somebody's knee. Anything but snarling Cerberus, a senseless hand on one's throat, interrupting one's song, dividing one sentence with an abandoned ellipses. Of course, as the tortoise often loses to the hare, bullets often miss their targets, instead burying themselves in the peripheral furniture and scenery, spilled paint on the edges of the canvas. One night on Washington Street, lying on sweat-soaked sheets and dirty socks, the ceiling and fan broken, intravenous sunlight piercing the room through broken blinds, I heard such a sound, a hand clapping, a felled tree, someone slamming shut a window. At the homeless shelter across the street, the House of Hope, they call it, named for St. Francis of Assisi, one man had pulled his gun on another. Dog once again bites dog. Two pawns fighting it out over kings and queens. Too hot to write and bored, I might have joined the crowd which gathered outside, like insects under some rock. But instead, I put a record on the record player, and as I placed the needle on the spinning edge, it skipped stone-like over the ridges, falling clumsily like some meteor colliding with the outer rings of Saturn. Tripping over itself and stumbling into one of the grooves where it sat and bobbed lifelessly in the water, a stone waiting to sink. But nothing sank. Instead, there was a bonfire crackle and hiss, and then music. The fury of Beethoven burning on the river, on a lake of fire and rage and torment. And as the ambulance came and I took off my dirty socks and washed my feet, the world began to make a little more sense. The sunlight was no longer blinding. The air thinned. The ceiling fan no longer broken, just idle, floating stone-like on the surface. On his deathbed, St. Francis intoned quietly the 142nd psalm. We are, all of us, drops of rainwater spilled on hot sidewalks in summer. And when the record skipped, I placed it back into its sleeve on the shelf. Such songs from prison walls echo, unheard, and with nothing to eat in the whiskey bottle now empty, reflecting the setting sun, I waited until the crowd dispersed, taking refuge in slum houses and in the cars and the church doorways in which they slept, and lit a cigarette standing on the front steps, my last one until tomorrow. The songless streets knew nothing of the miseries of gods or men. There was no sign that anything was missing. Thank you. Mm. Mm.